Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 24H2 update for the main release. Well, as some of you may know, I've posted a video in which I talked about a big Windows 11 update for 24H2 that was released on the release preview channel. Well, that is now released on the main release of Windows 11 as the feature update. In this video, we're talking about the build at 26100.2454, which as I've said, has been released to the main release as a feature update or the C release for the month of November. So in this video, I'm just gonna go through everything that is new and of course if you enjoy videos like these please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one so let's begin with the video one thing that i have to remind you again microsoft announced that in the month of december there won't be any feature updates for the main release because of course it is the holiday season now talking about the changes and improvements in this build if we're going to settings and then privacy and security microsoft basically changes tailored experiences to personalized offers in the ob or the out of the box experience in Windows 11 and in settings and privacy and security you can turn off the setting that sends data about your device to enhance Windows. Of course, we're also getting the system trade changes, which basically allow you to have a shortened time and date and disable the notification bell icon. If you right click on the taskbar, then go to taskbar settings. You're gonna have two new related settings. If you expand them and then expand show time and date in the system tray, you're gonna notice that you have this option, show abbreviated time and date in the system tray. You can see the difference between that. Also in taskbar settings, yet again, we have the notification settings and if we expand notifications we have show notification bell icon which you can turn on or off and also there is a small fix related to the taskbar if you have from taskbar behaviors the automatically hide the taskbar option enabled the search box will now show as an icon not as a search box in the start menu whenever you are right clicking on a pinned app in the start menu you're going to notice that certain apps will now support jump lists and if they support jump lists of course they will be shown inside the start menu inside settings bluetooth and devices and then touch Microsoft adds a new section for touchscreen edge gestures. There you can choose if you would like to turn off the left or right screen edge touch gesture. There is also a input method editor change. After you install this update, the IME toolbar will hide when apps are in full screen. This only occurs when the IME toolbar is active and you type Chinese or Japanese characters. In the file explorer, there are also a few changes. For example, you will now be able to directly share content to your Android phone from the context menu in the file explorer. And also a few fixes. There's a fix for issue where there might be more space than you expect between the items listed in the left pane and also the search box was cut off when file explorer window is small that is also a fix inside the dynamic lighting settings page the page will now show a placeholder message when there is no compatible device attached to your computer also the brightness and effect controls will be turned off and also this update adds the forward backward outward and inward direction options to the wave effect the gradient effect now has the forward direction option also a change related to the taskbar in the start menu if you hold shift and control and click a jump less item this opens the item as admin. There are also some improvements related to speech in Windows, and this applies to narrator, voice access, live captions, live translations, and voice typing. There are also a few fixes related to display. App windows might collect in the corner of a monitor after your device goes to sleep. This occurs when you use multiple monitors. This was fixed. Also, an issue where the micro material might not display correctly when you use a slideshow in the background was fixed. And also fixed for some secondary displays that might experience lag and screen tearing when a window is in full screen. Also, an additional mouse setting and then pointer options. If you enable show location of a pointer when I press the control key, this should now match the DPI or the scaling of your Windows operating system. Also a fix where the clipboard history might not show or show no content was fixed. That is also nice. So in the main release, these features that I've mentioned are features that are slowly rolling out. But if you watch a previous video that I've done, you'll see how to manually enable these. Related to the mouse and game bar, this is a normal rollout. Your mouse might unlock from the game window. This occurs when you have multiple monitors and open and close the game bar this was also fixed yet again some features that are gradually rolling out related to the task manager if you go to the user section and you try to disconnect a user you're going to notice this new dialog and also in the performance section and then discs you're going to notice that the discs are now labeled by their type there's also a change related to windows search and to filters you can check more about that in the article below there's also some fixes for the dism start component cleanup also for the powershell get windows capability command and also windows update was fixed where you might have gotten the error 0x800 F0905. And also JPEG files were fixed where you couldn't use an API to find rotation information. There are also some additional fixes. I'm only going to mention one of them because it is related to the task manager. The users page might cause task manager to stop responding when you use the keyboard that was fixed. And of course, if you want to check the whole list of fixes, you can check out the article below in the video's description or the official Microsoft blog post. Of course, we're also getting the Windows 11 service in stack, which basically allows you and ensures you can install Windows updates reliably. 
So basically, this is the big update or the feature update for the month of November in Windows 11 24H2. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.